You really don't want to um, go through it with the wedding? No, not no courthouse wedding. No, I don't. Not wow, because you world. just want to like you just want to do it for the gram, like you just no, want to show off for, the for social for media. Me. We supposed to be getting married at a venue. I already told you that's what I want: big wedding, big dress, big venue, everything blinked out. You already know what I want. Because you just want to flex on your little care. cousins and your your, 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 your peers. I thought I thought we was doing this for not, us though. About, we are doing it for us, but we can do it how I said I want it so done. If we, we can't gotta, do it how I said I want it done, then we don't have to do it at all. I'm not getting married at no courthouse. What do I look like getting married at a courthouse? Like that don't even that don't even sound right. That's not even a wedding. Like you being mad cheap right now and mad weird for no reason. I'm being cheap, but you want a whole cruise right now. Okay. You ain't had to pay a, a, a dollar. Cruise. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm used to dealing with people with money, who are able to get me whatever I need, whenever I want it, however I want it. You you broke. Say that if you broke, just say that because you being mad cheap and it's mad weird. So. That's what I'm used to. You know what I used to, what I'm used to. You know what I come from. So. Sam, but you know, it ain't never been nothing broke about me. Anything you ask you for. You acting like it? Anything you ask for, you get. You know okay. What I'm saying? Everything but this but is this. the one thing. Nah. That's not what I'm used to. So give me exactly what I'm asking for and it's no problem. So what am I? Is this supposed to be like some sugar daddy type situation or you want me to be your husband? <laughs> If that's what you want to call it, if you want to call it a sugar daddy, because it makes nah, you feel better. I don't want to. Nah, if it makes you feel on. better saying sugar daddy, then say that. But that, I mean, that's what you're putting me in the I'm mind. I'm not putting though, you in the like, category as being a sugar daddy. I'm look, just telling you what I'm look, used now, to. You now know just, where I come from. You feel know crazy. what I'm used to. You, know you what sound I'm used crazy. To, so. I don't care how it sounds. You're putting these crazy stipulations on our, okay. on our wedding because. It could be that. Like, how you sound? You, because you, you, if you, if you, are you broke? Can you afford it? Can you afford it? Is the ocean wet? Okay, then. So what are you complaining about? What do you mean, can I afford it? Get it done then. Make me want to get it done. Like, oh, it's not. I, 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 I was you made you want to get it done if you want to marry me. So. All right, but then as soon, soon as the marriage drop, right, what you going to ask for? You know, I've said it before. It's like a question I propose a lot of times. Do modern day women even qualify for marriage nowadays? Right, with the attitude, with the ideology, with the beliefs, you know, with the, how, the acting. Women have always at least in modern time, right, are such pro uh, proponents for, you know, the strong, independent, no, don't need no man, you know, uh, type of attitude that do they even qualify for? It? And <clears throat> with that attitude coming into a relationship, they are fine with everything except the need for that man. So let's say in, in this in this uh, video, I think most women are like this. They want the the wedding. The wedding is what they're looking out for, right? The ring, the the, the engagement, proposing, right? The wedding, the glitz and glamour and the partying of the wedding, right? Not the marriage, because again, divorce rates are about higher than 50 percent and women file for divorce majority of the time women are not fit to be wives in general right so especially by statistics they're not that fit to be wives so what does that say to men nowadays that <clears throat> marriage is a toss-up it's a it's a coin flip right 50 50 and that there's a higher chance that your wife will be the one who's leaving you. So why, you gotta think, why do they want just the big moment of the wedding? It's because it's just a party. It's the, it's a, what is it? What, what did he say? Like a, just a Instagram flex, right? A family flex, friends flex. You're flexing to people, right? Showing off. You're not showing off your husband, right? You're showing off the, the party, the amount of money you spent. The glitz and glamour just like the engagement ring you know it's not like you could spend a small couple thousand dollars a couple hundred dollars on a ring no it has to be a big rock so you could show it off to people you're not showing off your man you're showing off the ring you're showing off the glitz and glamour of the wedding this is why it is hard to tell if modern women maybe hard to tell but if modern women are even qualified to be wise nowadays. Hell, I've had videos and probably show it into this one that women are 
fine with being baby mamas than they are with being wives. And it's, the, it's anything to do, any, they could, they're fine with anything besides being with the man, uh, compromising with the man, uh, making things work with a man, right? Going through the hardships with a the man. They can go through hardships on their own, go through hardships as the, with their child, but that's it. The man is secondary or down on the list of priorities. And this is this is this is what I'm talking about. It's just unbelievable. What if I, what uh, I see that I want? You're gonna say you want a big behind house, right? Right. You're gonna say you want another car, right? Right. So that's, that's just and bizarre. I expect you to get it. I mean. Okay. I don't know. We're not seeing eye to eye on this. Like, at this point, then, if we're not seeing eye to eye, I don't think it's going to work then. Hey, because that's just what it's going to do. Maybe you should work. I, I don't need that, to work. That might help. Like, I don't need to work. That's the purpose of being in a relationship. Because you want a sponsor. No. Like, you don't want to. I want a man who makes sure I get what I want you when want, I want you it. Want, you I want, I want, want a sugar daddy. That's what you want. That's what you want to call it. I want a provider. That's what I call it. So, you being out here on the, uh, me take bring her to the Bahamas, seven days, but all her whole wardrobe, pay for everything, that's drinks and all do. that. That's what you're supposed to do. That's not being a provider. That's your job. Most okay. girls, and you that's still being ungrateful. You see what I want. All right, so let's say in an event, I couldn't afford no wedding like that. Then, then we wouldn't be getting married. So, uh, so that's what it's about that's then. Exactly it's, what it's, about. it's about the money. It's not about the money. It's about what I want, and what I want is. But I thought what you wanted money. was me, though. I thought you, I thought okay. we was doing this for our love. We can do that for love. That's See, nice. I just want to live like a normal little nice little happy quiet life. But that's she nice. want to be all festive. Yes, because I'm a festive and, person. And try to keep up with the Joneses. Like, the like that's not what it's about. I don't even about. know the Joneses. I'm a festive person, and I like to have the best, and I deserve the best. And that's, that's what you said you going to give me. That's social so then media that. stuff about your head. Words, stop being cheap. That's social media stuff about your head. Stop being cheap. I'm not getting married at no point. I'm not cheap right. about me, but I'm just like, saying. That's like a joke right now. You, you, I, we, could be, we could be using those expenses want. for other stuff. Okay. You know can make more money to, for other stuff after we get my wedding that I want. So don't ask me to marry you. Don't ask me to marry you at an Oklahoma house. So do you want to marry me or you want to marry my wife? I want to marry at the venue that I picked out. And that's that. Like, there's nothing else really to talk about. You can give me what I want and don't give me nothing at all. You can marry somebody else at a courthouse. I'm not taking that from you. If you want to get married at a courthouse so bad because that's important to you, you can do it with somebody else. It ain't. It, it's just why okay. spend why spend all that extra money for the because same? Because that's what I want. That's just, what just I want. To have, and that's what I'm gonna have. Right, so maybe further on down the line, okay. maybe maybe no, that no. that could be that do could it right happen. Do the first but... time and you don't gotta do it again. Do it right the first time. You don't have to do it again. If you want to get married at a courthouse, go do that with somebody else. Be cheap with somebody else. But if you want to be with me, you already know. I already said my and piece. This, this is I said I my piece. I'm not going to keep talking about it because it's getting redundant. You know, and this is where I hold men accountable. All right. 100%. I'm holding men accountable. You, we choose these women, right? We spoil these women, right? We treat these women like princesses. And then we, how can we be surprised when they're acting like spoiled princesses? This is the thing where... I've learned through trial and error experience that I love spoiling my woman, right? I love spoiling my woman. But I will only now, and I've learned, like I said, through trial and error, spoil her to a degree. I will definitely, definitely, maybe this is my own advice to myself. You could take it if you want, but I will learn to actually put no into the at atmosphere, right? put no into a relationship. I will say no, no, no. Uh, doesn't mean that I won't spoil her. Doesn't mean I won't treat her right. But I will definitely make her get used to the word no. Get used to my boundaries. Get used to, you're not gonna get everything you want. That's not how these things work. But that's the thing with like men. I, I always felt this, right? When it comes to dating, when it comes to relationships, it's not easy for men. It's, uh, like if this woman left, she will pro she can get a man tomorrow, the next day. If she leaves him today, she can if she wants to get a get another man the next day. Hell, probably in that day. Men, it's not that easy. Um, you have to work for it, and even if you work for it, there's no guarantee that 
he can get anyone, right? So <clears throat> we men, I think, naturally live in the state of uh, um, the state of scarcity, where if we don't, if we lose her, we don't know when we'll get the next girl, right? Especially, especially long-term commitment, a girl that's that supposedly we think is worthy of long-term commitment. Uh, some men can always get, or, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to get, you know, sexual access. I mean, you could be paid for it too, but to get, to for someone to be a boyfriend, girlfriend, I mean, for a girlfriend status, it's hard for men. So a lot of men just live in a scarcity mindset where, oh, if I, if I, if I don't, if I lose her, then what? It's going to be hard for me to find another one. But sometimes that's why men should reevaluate their priorities. Women should never be at the top of your list because then they know uh, how to control you because you put them first. You put them on the pedestal. And when men put a woman on a pedestal, well, she rules you. She is uh, the leader of this relationship. one of my boys he knows who he is I ain't gonna say his name he was married they never had any kids he wasn't feeling the relationship anymore neither was she the divorce wasn't even contested and the courts ordered him to pay twelve thousand dollars per month that ain't child support that's adult support that's wife support twelve thousand dollars a month he wasn't even making a million a year twelve thousand dollars a month just because y'all ain't together no more she had a job why you pay twelve thousand dollars a month? Are getting married more than black women? When they don't want to get married. They have they have moms. Well, they black love black men have more marriages than black women, even though they are statistically less than black. They women. also don't take care of their kids too. Statistically, no, there's no, more than they no, don't no, take no, care of their own kids. That's not true. CDC actually documented this that black men are the most involved fathers in America. Shocker, I'm yes. Fighting for women's rights. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to work. I don't. So all you fucking feminist equal rights movement people shut the fuck up you're telling me as women this is what we fought for to go to work to work the whole independent you know i want to be independent i got my own bag ladies it's dead my mom used to be a housekeeper and she instilled in me go to school work hard don't ever ask anyone for anything and i'm like that backfired because I'm exhausted to the table with the table the chairs the bacon so i'm not asking or begging a man to take care of me because i don't need that honey look at me a few moments later i'm tired i no longer want to be an independent woman forget that i-n-d-e mm -mm, i'm good i want to be a housewife say no to these exploitive damsel in distress dating scams the older generation of women have made their deal with the devil and now modern women have inherited the poor decisions that the older generation of women have made. After one or two generations of toxic feminism, promoting the hatred of the patriarchy and narcissism, these women finally want to revert back to traditionalism because the load is too much to handle. Modern women see Instagram models constantly traveling to exotic places, buying expensive purses, and living life on easy mode. And they see that that's more aspiring than working 40 hours a week just to pay their own bills. And debt that they accumulated throughout the years. Say no to these exploitive dating scams. And say yes to the passport bros.